Hello everybody, it is day 8 of my 90 day mission. I wanted to check in with you guys and give you some awesome tips as to how you can have an amazing lifestyle. I'm on a mission, so check it out. Today what I do for fitness, I did some hot yoga which was incredible, I feel amazing. And This morning I did an upper body workout, also worked on my abs a little bit, feeling fantastic, tons of energy, no coffee, hello. Um, today, what I'm doing for the video is my recipe for my cauliflower crust gluten-free pizza is delicious and it's cheap and it's really easy to make so check it out come on over here um, this is where we started so I started with cauliflower and I diced it up in a food processor if you guys don't have a food processor go get one because you can do so much you can make soups and all kinds of stuff so it's a really good thing to have in your kitchen um, once I got the consistency of it to be something like this, I added some flax seeds, no bijou, you stay over there. This is my child. This is her perch, she's not allowed to cross it. Stay, this line, this imaginary line, you're not allowed to cross it. Um, flax seeds, really, really good for fiber and it's, you know, of course people are always complaining about not being able to get a fiber, but you can get it from your food. Buying Metamucil or whatever that crap is and stirring with water, don't do that. Um, anyway, so, fiber in the crust. And of course, we're going to use these whole eggs, going to blend them up, and once it is kind of like ready to be scrambled, we're going to put it inside here, we're going to mix it up, and once everything's blended together, we're going to put it onto this pan, and of course, make sure that you heat this to 450, you want to have it preheated, and I like to put coconut oil in the pan so that it doesn't stick and get all crusty, and um, come on over here, check out these ingredients, this is the stuff I'm going to put on top. Raw milk feta, love this stuff, it's so delicious. And you get all your enzymes, you don't have pasteurized dairy, stop doing it. And then I've got bell peppers, some broccolini, some squash, more fiber, color, avocado, good healthy fats, a little bit of tang, a little bit of uh, flavor, a little bit of a kick. These are from Trader Joe's, they're delicious and you can eat them with pretty much just about anything. And of course, uh, I'm gonna put on some spinach, and this is how you're going to get all of your nutrients. And this is really, really amazing. And of course you get to season it. I like to put flower pepper, sesame seeds, rosemary, some basil leaves. You guys can get really, really creative. So you can make the pizza taste however you want. And the best thing is that it's super easy, it's delicious, and it's fun to make. So I'm going to start making it and you guys are going to see the finished product. So stay tuned. Oh, one more thing. Don't, don't forget this. When you bake your crust, you want to bake it for 15 minutes and then take it out and then you put all the toppings on and then you stick it back in and then you're going to have it in there for about another 15 minutes or so. Just make sure you time it and watch it and then you take it out when it's crispy and ready for you. So see you guys in a little bit.